butterflies. People are always asking me, what happened to all the butterflies? There used to be so many. And you know, I've been paying attention to butterflies since I was five years old. I've lived my entire life in Edmonton. This is a question I should be able to answer. When I was a kid, I spent countless hours in the river valley looking for butterflies and other insects. And then in 1993, I wrote a book about the butterflies of Alberta, and I started organizing annual butterfly counts here in the area of McKinnon Ravine. Then in 1998, I switched to weekly counts, and the result has been a whole lot of interesting data. Generally, I go out on my lunch break with students or friends, and my most enthusiastic helper has been Christiane McDonald, a graduate student. Most of the time, we can identify butterflies at a distance, but on occasion, we have to catch them and have a look at them in the hand up close. So what have we found? Well, butterfly numbers fluctuate. They fluctuate a great deal, and that can be confusing. But in general, the common species are always pretty common, and the rare species are all still here. In terms of diversity, there are now three more species in Edmonton than there were when I was a kid, for a total of about 45. One of them is an introduced species, the European skipper, but the other two got here on their own, probably because of climate change, and from the east, from Saskatchewan, the northern Perlii and the Hobomox skipper. This year, 2012, has been a record year for butterflies, breaking just about all my personal records. What makes for a big year? Well, it's pretty clear that a combination of moisture and warmth produces a lot of butterflies. A dry year, mm, not so good. Fewer individuals and fewer species. And that's especially true for butterflies who develop as caterpillars on these grassy, south-facing hillsides, butterflies like alpines. So what are people remembering when they talk about the days when there were so many more butterflies? Well, in my opinion, it's probably the migrants. Butterflies that come up from the south, from the US, from Mexico, but only in exceptional years. The Painted Lady, for example, some years it can, it can arrive in Alberta by the gazillions and then more or less disappear for years and years on end. This year, it was the monarchs that surprised us. Monarchs arrived in June in small but unprecedented numbers. And many of us worried that perhaps they had flown too far this year, too far north, too far west, to a land where there are no milkweed plants for their caterpillars. But in August, the new generation emerged right on schedule. And in southern Alberta, oh my goodness, monarch numbers were tremendously high. So the good news is, as far as I can tell, the butterflies here are not disappearing. Now that doesn't mean we shouldn't be concerned about them, continue to monitor them. And who knows, maybe sometime in the future someone will want to know what the butterflies of Edmonton were like during this period in time. If so, I'm happy to pass on to them a set of what I think is good baseline data that they can use to compare with the butterflies of the future. That's kind of a funny idea, isn't it? butterflies of the future. We always think of them sentimentally, as if they were in the past. There goes one now, into the future, a butterfly of the future.